Steve Covey's Advice for Young People Who Want to Be Rich I was born by poor parents. One of them was a farmer and the other a trader. Not only that, I was born sickly and had to suffer rheumatism for the first 17 years of my life. There's still more to it. I spent the first 11 years of my life in a deep dark village where mosquitoes were our friends where water didn't have to be clean to be drinkable, where ordinary toilet was just one for the entire village population. However, when I was 17, I started thinking about my future. I had options between choosing to cry and complain all my life. I could make excuses and let everyone know that the reason why my life ends in poverty and frustration is because I was born in such unfortunate situation. I knew if I grew up to make such excuses. I may have the sympathy of a few people but will by no means transfer my pains or poverty to anyone. I'll tell you the rest of the story in this video as I share with you one of the most important advice Steve Covey ever gave. If you're new here, consider subscribing so you won't miss other interesting videos like this. Now here it is, Steve Covey said, Leave out of your imagination, not your history. Don't leave according to who your background was. Leave as who you want to be. Stop living as if you are doomed from birth. Start living as though you can change anything in your life. How Yesterday Destroys Tomorrow I started this video with my personal story and I promised to tell you some other parts of that story. You see, almost everyone I grew up together with is today living ordinary life. Most of them are broke. Many are even frustrated. If you meet them today and ask them, why does your life end this way? They will most likely tell you how they were born into poverty and how they had an unfortunate background. They are living out their history and it makes sense to them. I mean, it makes sense to say, hey, the reason why I'm poor is because my parents were poor and they were not able to give me some good education and I don't have any opportunity because the rich have taken all the opportunities. Yes, it makes sense to make such excuses but it won't bring food to your table. Why let your yesterday destroy your tomorrow? Why focus on the past that you cannot change? Why letting your future suffer because you think in terms of your history? In the culture where I grew up, they believe in generational curse, generational poverty and stuff like that. In some other culture, they will say something like, poverty runs in our family. But they are wrong. That your father was poor doesn't mean you have to be poor. That you were born disadvantaged doesn't mean you must have a disadvantaged life. The only reason why most people end up the way their parents ended up is because they believe that their history determines their future. Leave out of your imagination, not your history. Creating a new future Growing up in a village, all I could see around me was poverty, complaint and frustration. Everyone was poor, everyone complains, everyone is frustrated and everyone did nothing about it. For me to change my life, I knew that I had to live in the future so I started dreaming of the kind of life I wanted for myself. I wanted financial freedom, I wanted a good marriage, I wanted to live for a purpose. I then dedicated my life to every path and decision I knew could lead me to what I wanted out of life. Yes, it was not easy. At first, everyone in my family thought I was crazy and they were right because I had become an entirely different person. I could no longer think the way they thought or act the way they did. I could no longer fit into their world anymore and the reasonable thing they could do persecute me. It was another level of suffering but I had to endure it. What I wanted was what I wanted. I wanted to be who I saw in my dream, not who my background says I am. Today, when I look around, I see young people making excuses. Many people will mail me and write a million things that is stopping them. Some will call me and tell me how disadvantaged they are. Most people simply live to remember how and where they were born and that is why they remain where they were born. Stop using your history as an excuse. Your parents were poor. You were not given good education. You were sexually abused. Well, that was your yesterday and you can't change any bit of it. 
That is your history and it's already written. I mean, what about today and tomorrow and the next day? Those are the new sheets of paper waiting for you to write something on. These are the new opportunities you have to write a new thing. What would you write? Live out of your imagination, not your history. Nobody is stopping you. I've always heard many people complaining about how a lot of things are stopping them from being who they wanted to be. Some say that their country is bad and that's why they are poor. Well, my country is bad too. Some say that the economy is bad. Some say that the system has been rigged against them. Some say that the rich have taken all the opportunity. Well, opportunity is never monopolized because nobody in the world has the power to monopolize opportunity. Not even the top 1,000 richest people in the world can do it because there is always a loophole somewhere. The problem about the opportunities loophole is that people who stay back cannot see it. The only people who see this opportunity loophole are people who live as if they are looking for the lost gold. These people are restless. They don't sleep 9 hours a day. They don't waste time on social media. They hate TV. They are the crazy ones and they won't be normal until they find what they are looking for. I know what I'm talking about. For 8 years of my life, I was in the business world without any progress. Everyone mocked me but I knew there's an opportunity somewhere I needed to mine. I read every book I could see and did every tough thing with the whole courage I had. Behold, one day when I least expected, I came across a business idea that transformed my entire life. Within 2 years of coming across this idea, I've risen from the bottom of the population to almost the top. I've built my life and live like I've always wanted to. Don't believe lies. Every day, ordinary people break up with the history of their life. Every day, new and ordinary people emerge as millionaires. Every day, ordinary people who are crazy break new records, achieve new things and win old battles. Don't tell me about your history. Tell me about your future. Don't tell me how bad your past was. Tell me how good you want to make your future to be. Don't tell me that anyone or anything is stopping you because that's not true. You are the person who is stopping you. You are stopping you because you like who you are. If you don't like who you are, you'll dream of becoming a new person and you'll fight hard to become a new person. If you don't like who you are, you'll stop talking about it. You'll get out to the harsh world and pay the entire price you have to. You'll be willing to sacrifice your time, energy and even your life to break away from your old history. Create a dream and start working on it. Don't look back, look forward. Don't complain, conquer. Don't make excuses, execute. Fight, fight, fight till the last drop of your blood. Don't agree to leave, except you can leave the way you want to. Leave out of your imagination, not your history. Thank you so much for watching our videos. Are you between the ages of 15 and 40? Then we invite you to join our new channel which was specially created to share with you inspiration and life's lessons to succeed in life. We call it Under 40 TV. Kindly look at the description box to join the Under 40 TV. We love you.